So he's down for a six, Roman Rock. And now, a massive moment in Shane Larry's golfing life. This to become the 2009 three Irish Open champion, and he's done it. The pride of County Offaly. And suddenly all that emotion, which had kept bottled up brilliantly all week, comes pouring out, and he's joined by thousands of excited Irishmen. Rory McIlroy, who himself knows the joy of winning in the European Tour, delighted for his old amateur buddy. Who would have believed it? Not much more than 18 months ago. These two were playing amateur golf. And they embrace Rory and Shane, victorious members of the European Amateur Team Championship winning team back in 2007 at Western Gales. And a kiss from his girlfriend. I'm sure a big hug from his mother, Bridget, coming very shortly. Uh, and a huge what? moment for his father, Brendan, as well, himself a great sports star here in Ireland. Wonderful moments for Shane Lowry. <laughs> and the sponsor will be delighted. Whenever you can leave the green, there's no way he's going anywhere. <laughs> It is playoff all number three for the three Irish Open champion and Shane Lowry has given Ireland an Irish Open champion and he's done it as an amateur. Well, he's just been greeted by the Taoiseach Brian Cowan and the chief executive of three, the sponsors there on his right shoulder with the trophy, Robert Finnegan. Shane Lowry is the... 2009 three Irish Open champion and what a massive start. and here and it is three. it is time to hear from the champion Shane Larry who's talking to Tim Barter welcome to the trophy presentation for the three Irish Open 2009 to my left Richard Hills Ryder Cup director immediately alongside him Martin Cullen Minister of Sport the Honourable Taoiseach Brian Cowan next to him and Robert Finnegan Chief Executive three who will present the trophy for us in just a second. First of all, I've got to have a word with this young man. That was quiet today. Your dream has just come true. How does that feel? Oh, uh, speechless, to be honest. I um, thought I missed my chance when I missed that short putt in, the, in normal playing. Um, oh, I, just, I just can't believe what's after happening to me. Um, Life-changing, you know. Sure, I'm going to have a busy week ahead of me this week. How did you gather yourself after you missed that short putt? Because that would have blown away a lot of experienced pros. Yeah, well, I knew I was still in it. Obviously, um, it helped Rory. Rory gave me a couple of words as I left the 18th green. You know, um, I just had to had to say I was keeping or still in it and had to keep plugging away. And How were the emotions during that uh, playoff, particularly? Oh, well. Try not to swear. <laughs> I was just, I was just trying to not make, not make a bogey. I was just trying to, you know, get, get it on the fairway, get it down near the green, try and get up and down for birdie. Um, you know, Robert Hall a great put on the second playoff hall for birdie. Um, but you know, I can't. Uh, I was happy to see him miss that one, obviously, on the last. <laughs> a word for these fans, because they've got to be worth at least a shot, haven't they? Oh, they're the 15 club in the bag today. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. unbelievable. It's just yeah. unbelievable. There's no, no word to describe it. It's just uh, out of this world. What for you now? Turning pro or still Walker Cup ambitions? I don't know. I'll, I'll have to think about that one. I'll have to think about that one. A word for your mum and dad. They've given up so much to allow you to play full-time golf. They're here. You put them through hell today. A word for them. This is, this is for everything. And, um, you know, I'm sure we're going to have many great days like this again. again. How will you celebrate this win? How will you celebrate this win? Um, I wouldn't think there'd be anyone working in Clara tomorrow anyway. So um, I'd, say, I'd say we might have a couple of points tonight. And, uh, See, see what happens from there. Let's ask Robert to present the trophy on behalf of three. Well 
Well, all winners are memorable, but some are more memorable than others. And Shane Lowry is really one of the most remarkable winners we've ever seen in the European Tour. He started the week well known in Ireland, but unknown to most of the rest of the golfing world. An amateur, a 22-year-old, teeing it up with the pros for the very first time. And at the end of it all, after 75 holes and pretty dreadful weather a lot of the time, he's emerged on top. It's a, an astonishing achievement. And uh, it's no fluke. He has played quite beautifully all week, Warren. He certainly has, Doogie. Uh, I think it's a, a tremendous performance, something that uh, all the Irish fans can be very proud of. But I spare a thought, too, for Robert Rock, who... Uh, really gave us a wonderful moment there's something that uh, all the Irish fans and he will never ever forget for the rest of his life and Shane O'Donoghue you know him well obviously as a, a nice guy a great amateur and now a winner in the European Tour. It's, yeah. it's breathtaking, isn't it? Well, he was unknown until about five years ago and then just was elevated into the elite ranks of the Amateur.